Hello guys, welcome to Google Micro Projects. Kindly join me to develop this application using React Hooks and Redux with an API. If you want to type along with me, kindly install the following. 1. npm install Redux. 2. npm install React Redux. 3. npm install React Redux DevTools extension. And 4. npm install UUID. So that is that. With all said and done, let's begin. Thank you very much. To begin with, let's create three folders in our SRC folder. So over here we say call the first one assets. And create another one and call it component. Then create another one and call it Redux. So let's take the first one assets. Now I'm gonna going to use spinners, so let's leave it. Let's go to the components. Let's create another folder and call it country folder. Okay. Now inside a country folder, let's create a file and call it country.js. Now the boilerplate, RFCE, let's, instead of on RD, why don't we make it react to fragment? Okay, then inside that we can say hello. So let's connect that to the app.js to view on the screen. So we can say country. Good, let's check. Good, it has been ported for us already. Let's check the screen. Great, we have hello on the screen. So maybe we're ready to go. So we can close the app.js. Now, before we continue, let's see the structure of the application. Now, with the structure of the application, I want us to have, um, let's take it this way. Then let's have the header here, then a body there. Okay, then we have the country and we have the body. And the body, we create a table. Okay, so let's create a table this way. We have the the flags, the country name, and a capital. Okay, so the flags, the country name, capital, then a header over here. Now with the page setup, we're gonna have a uh, three six three. Inside the way, we have the three columns. First three columns empty, so we can have access to the middle region, which is gonna be six. Then we can have the last three also empty. So the Nasha will work in the middle region. So that is that for the page setup. So let's continue. We go to the create a div. Let's say div. Div give it a class name. We'll call it row. And inside the row, let's create another div. Give the class name and give it a call md3 okay the three i was talking about that the first three is going to be empty so that is that now we create the second one and make it what six so and now actually we're going to work in this middle region now this is what do we need they need a card so we say div give the class name and call it card and the card we need card header to div give the class name and call it card header okay we copy that and give it card body card body okay so let's take the first one header now in the header what we'd want we need an h3 tag that will say countries and h and the capital uh, app. Good. So that is that for the header. 
So next time we move the, the body. So in the body, what do we need? We need a table. I'm sorry. We need a table, okay. And inside that table, let's give the table class name. I'm sorry. Class name. And call it table. Table bordered and table there sorry table dark good now inside the table as usual we have t head and t body inside the table we need t head okay and t body so t body Okay, so that is that. Let's take the first one, T head. And T head, we need T row. Okay, now inside the row, we need T D, T data. And the data, let's give it a class name. Class name equals font weight. Font weight, gives T bold. So let's copy that. Three times. Okay, so the first one is going to give us the flag. Second one can give us the country. And the last one give us the carrier. So that is that. Let's check our screen to see how things are doing. Great, now we can make this one phone with wood and send out everything. So let's do, do that. So we go give this to a class name. Let me just copy the class name. Okay. Give it a class name. Then we say card. Let's give it the center. The center, okay. Now let's check our screen great so we're ready to go now let's go to our css and make it more beautiful so we go to our css and let's say give it the card header header we say give it the background color of 225202 and color let's give it white smoke then we give it as a header let's go on header okay then header let's give it also a background color of R. no let's give it rgb rgb color of three seven six five comma six five Good. Then uh, color. That's color hot in white smoke. Okay. Okay. Then now let's header. Let's add the header to the. Okay. So the header on the table to have another. D head. Okay. Again, let's give the class name and call it what. Uh, header. Okay. Let's kind of the header to it. So let's say. Good, so we can have it now. Now, it's really, I want some space at the top. So let's go to the rule and add some space there. So I can say margin top MT3. Okay, so let's check it out. Good, so we are ready for Redux. Now, the Redux will use the Redux to get our T body. Okay, so I think that is that for. Our setup. So to begin Redux, let's close our CSS and close this too. Let's go to Redux folder and create a file and call it store. Let's same folder. Let's create another file and call it roots producer. .js. Same Redux folder. Let's create another folder and call it country redux 
Now in the country readers, let's create a file and call it country dot action types action type dot js. Now in the same country readers folder, let's create another file and call it country dot actions .js. Now in the same country readers folder, let's create another file and call it country dot reducer. Okay. Dot JSQ. That is that. So let's take the first one. Action types. Good. So let's first let's export export um const const what let's make it caps const um, load data load data what request which request to the same thing So I'm just copy all three times. So the next one, this one is gonna be us. Let's make this one success. Success CC. And this one failure. Okay, so the same thing here too. Failure and here gonna be success. Okay, I'm good. So that is that for our action types. So the next is the, the actions. Good. So to begin with, let's import the action types. So we say import forward. Port of load load data request comma load load data success last one load load data failure okay from from where? From action types. So that is that. Good. The so next list import import axios from axios. Then now we can say that let load data be equal to a function okay that will return return what return another function with a dispatch ACH dispatch good so inside that we can see that dispatch dispatch into bracket a type well, let me do it this way just a type a type called what uh, load data request Okay. Oh, so with that, let's now say that let our data URL be equal to. Okay. Now, what is the data URL? What's our URL? Now, do the URL. Let's go to restcountries.eu. So the rest countries, I'll pick the URL from here. 
view. So I'll copy the URL and uh, paste it. Okay, so that is our URL. So what next? What do we do? We can say Ashios dot get into bracket data URL dots then into bracket oh not going to do this into bracket then what response O N C R E S response good so here we can say dispatch dispatch what dispatch a type a type called the load data sorry load data success load data sussex come on and the payload and the payload response dot data good so mm -hmm. good. so from there we can say that from here if we say dot catch catch what Good. To catch the error, you will say error. Then we should dispatch. Dispatch what? Dispatch. Dispatch. Dispatch a type. Dispatch a type. Um, load data failure come on then the payload payload of uh, payload we call it what error mm -hmm. so that is that so finally we can say export load data So that is that with the uh, actions. So the next thing to do is to move to country dot reducer. So to begin with the reducer, let's import the action types again. So to import it, we copy that, paste it here. Okay. So that is that. Good. So let's give it a key. So we can say export const. Uh, let's give it a key. We say um, country. Country what? Key. Country key. Let's call it country store. Okay. So that in the store we can have the name country store. So next to create our initial state, we select initial state be equal to equal to what? Let's give it data data and give it empty array. Then comma. Let's give loading loading what false comma then let's give it error message error message we give it empty string so that is that with the initial state 
but we can continue to say that let country reducer be equal to a function equal to a function don't forget the states where we say the state is equal to initial state comma action then inside that you can say let that's what the type comma payload equal to action okay so this will so from here we go to our switch statement means w i get switch statement into bracket type then oh, sorry so let's take them let's take the first case case load data request what do you do then return return give us state back give us state back then then what again come on then 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 make loading loading what true this way good so that is that now let's take the second case when the case is success just copy okay so when the case load data success okay So when it's loaded to SSX, the return give us a state back and make loading false. Sorry, false. Loading false. Then come on. Then make the data payload so that is that for success how about failure so when is failure good when is failure give us a state back and make the error message error message payload good now let's create our default state so we say default to give us a state back so return state so that is that finally we can export uh, sport their the, 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 the country reducer because now as for the country reducer to where to the root reducer so we go to the root reducer then we import it so we say import country reducer from from where? From Redux, from Country Reducer. So that is that. So next is to import, combine reducers from Redux. 
So that is that. We can now say let root reducer be equal to combine reducers into bracket into bracket what let's call the key so we say country key and give the value country reducer okay so that is that let's import the country key good it has been imported for us already so i think we're good to go next is to export export the root reducer now export the root reducer to where to the store so we go to the store then we import our root reducer okay root reducer from from where from root reducer okay. next we import create store from Redux sorry from Redux good then we also import compose compose with no 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 with def tools from from where compose uh, from Redux Dev Tools extension. Good. Good. Let's import also. Let's import tank. Okay. Let's import import what tank from Redux tank. Good. We're gonna use that middleware, so we're gonna say let middleware be equal to enough tank. Good. Then now we can say let store equal to great store great store into bracket which reducer comma composed with dev tools into bracket into bracket apply middleware apply apply Middle where good. I didn't install the apply middleware. Okay, okay, okay. Let me install the apply middleware also from Redux. So let's just go to crystal. Then we say apply middleware, apply middleware. Good. So apply middleware. Into bracket, into bracket, we call the middleware. Okay, then we say one, two, three, and then we say middleware, middlewares, middlewares. Okay, so we do it this way so that we can, in future, we, we can add more middlewares to it. So I just add comma and I add logger and I add more middlewares that is available. So with this application, let's do it this way. Mm, so that is that. So next is to export the store. Now export the store to where? To the app.js. So we go to app.js, then we say import 
to from from where from Redux store. Good. We also need to import provider provider from React Redux. So let's wrap the provider around the component. So if I here you can say provider and inside that we can say store it was store cut it down great so that is that now let's check our screen to see if there is no complaint great we have no complaint so let's check our store Great, our store is also ready for action. Good, our store is also ready for action. So next thing to do now is to link the store to the component. Okay, so to do that, let's go back to our, so we can close all this, close the reproducer, close types, close all of them. Okay, then go to the components. Then components. Let's import. Import what? Use effect. Use effect. Then we also import. Use. Use dispatch. ETCH dispatch and uh, use selector selector from from where React Redux. Good. So let's initialize our dispatch. We we'll say let's dispatch be equal to use dispatch good dispatch so now let's do a dispatch dispatch good. so the dispatch we say use effect get use effect to bracket let's give the function key good so inside that we can call the use dispatch we say dispatch dispatch what dispatch loot loot what loot data load data okay load data so let's import load data load data load data let's say we go to the load data is in the action so I didn't say the actions the actions yeah. this one this load there so we're gonna load it you're gonna import it so let's go do that so we say import load data from from where no no yes so Redux then then actions good. So the load data is good. So let's check it out. We go to and see if good. So now let's check our store if we got data. Great! We got data in the store. We got data in the store. We got data in the store. Good. So nice things to do is to view the data in the store. Okay. So to view the data, let's comment it and say view data. So let's say let 
view country be equal to view selector view selector uh, gives us a function okay gives us a function that says that the return return what return the state oh sorry return the state then bracket country key country key now we need to import the country key okay so here I say import Country key, country key from from where? No, it's in the Redux reducer. Okay, so country key we go to Redux, then we go to your country reducer. Yeah, country key is there. Country dot reducer, we can find it there. So that is that. Mm. So let's check it out to see if we can view on the screen. So to check that out, we can use a pre tag to call JSON. Okay. So we say a pre tag. Then we say JSON. Okay. JSON dot stringify into bracket view controller. Okay, let's check our screen again. Oh, there's an issue. It says state is not defined. Line 15. So let's go there. Line 15. State is not defined. Oh, sorry. I put state here. Good. Let's check it out again. Great. See, we got data here. So, what we need to do now is look at the data that we want. Yeah, I want the name, the flag, and the capital. Okay. So, when you go to the data, you see what you need. I need the capital, the name, and the flag. So, that is that. Now, let's move to the T body, so we can put those things in the T body. T body, T body, T body. Where are you? Yeah. So this is the T body. So this is the body session. Let's see, uh, body section. Yeah. That's a T body. T body. What do we need? We need to create a map. But before that, let's import our key. Import v4 as uuid v4 from uuid. Great. So that's that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, 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 so back to the T body. Mm -hmm. So, to call, let's create a map. Okay? So, to do that, we need to write some JSX. So, we we'll say view, view country dot data dot map into bracket a script that will give us function mm -hmm. let's call it data 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 okay. data and that will return Turn mm -hmm. 
return word tr to okay, let's call it tr with the key okay the key key equals u id four and inside that we can have our t data so let's say td did it into bracket no this td the first one is going to be the flag so we need to get an image tag for the flag so let's do this so we'll say img good then inside that we can have our src equals equals data dot flag okay then the flag let's give it a uh, width width of um, 100 pixels then we give it a height in IGT height of sorry of 50 the pixels okay so i think that will, that will do good so let's check that out uuid4 oh sorry uuid v4 okay uuid v4 good. thank you let's check it out again great so we can see we have our flag neatly displaced. The next one is a country and capital. So let's do that too. So over here, we we'll create another TD. So I say TD, TD, and inside that, let's call this dot um, name. Good. Let's check that out. Good. That should give us a country name. Good, you can see the country name. Let's make it bold. So we say class name equals uh, font weight bold. Okay, that is that. I'm going to just copy this for the capital. So this one will be data dot capital. Let's check that out again. Great. Now, so what next to do? We don't need the data anymore so let's take the pre tag off we can comment it so i go there pre tag comment it then check it out great so guys, that is that. Thank you for sticking through. Catch you in the next video. Don't forget to do good. Love you. See ya.